the industry settled on adding FPDs or fall prevention devices to every lifeboat as well. I've seen a few different ones in use, ranging from a strop that runs from the boat to the hook at the end of the fall wire, through to a manufacturer modified hook with a pin that physically locks the hook in place. Basically, an FPD bypasses the onload release mechanism entirely, stopping the boat from being released. It needs to be removed completely before a boat can be launched. FPDs do stop boats from falling, but they add another level of action that's needed before you can launch a boat in an emergency. It's one of those things where technology was developed decades ago, but it proved to be incompatible with the human nature of making mistakes, especially under pressure. Yet, rather than rethink it completely, additional layers of action have been added to try and break the link between human error and an accident occurring. The procedure has gotten more complicated, increasing the need for proper training and education. But, is while conducting that training and education that accidents occur? In the time of the Titanic, people died because there were not enough lifeboats on the ship. Today, we have plenty of lifeboats, but people are instead dying while training. If you find yourself on a ship needing to operate a lifeboat, my plea to you is just make sure you know exactly how it all works on your ship, as every ship is different.